THE DOWNTOWN DES MOINES LANDMARK IS IN THE MIDDLE OF A MAJOR RENOVATION. KCCI'S KIM ST. ANGE IS LIVE AT THE FORMER NOLAN PLAZA, NOW CALLED COLES COMMONS, WITH AN UPDATE FOR US. AND KIM, YOU GUYS WERE ACTUALLY THE FIRST TV CREW TO GET INSIDE TO GET VIDEOS SINCE CONSTRUCTION STARTED, RIGHT? Yeah, that's pretty cool. In fact, within the last five minutes, they just opened up the gates for us. So check it out. Now you can really get the best look possible at the progress here as far as construction goes at Coles Common. This is a view from Third and Walnut here in downtown Des Moines. Obviously, quite a bit of dirt right now, but you can already see some of those trees going in. So it's a lot of progress, you know, and they've been working on this area for about eight months or so. But if you've seen these design plans, they're pretty amazing. So they do still have quite a bit of work to do. But let me tell you, they're working around the clock and in fact, I think I already saw one of the gentlemen with the construction company here, so they're not wasting any time. Let me tell you about these plans. There's going to be 32 new trees in this area alone. Like I was just showing you, some of those trees have already been planted, but they're also working really hard to save some of those trees that were already here. So they're also going to plant about 12,000 plants. So it's going to be a nice green area. They're really focusing on, again, the trees and the plants right now before they can start on some of these bigger features. So this is what Coles Commons is going to look like in just a few months. You can see that red carpet, which will connect the Civic Center to Capitol Square. That area alone is going to hold about 3,000 people. So it's going to be such a great spot if you want to spend your afternoon. It's too bad it's not open today because it's going to be a beautiful afternoon, like Curtis was saying. But there's also going to be this zero-depth fountain along with several benches. The idea is to really make it this very welcoming place for everyone if they're visiting out of town or if they live right here in central Iowa, where people can maybe hang out, spend their lunch hour, an area to be uh, held, to hold outdoor concerts. In fact, I even heard there's talk that it could possibly be an extension for the downtown farmer's market. We'll have activities happening all throughout the season that we're able to be outside. Uh, so it's going to be small groups, big groups. We're really excited to see what's going to unfold. Construction is expected to finish by the end of this year. The grand opening will be spring of next year. We look forward to it. Thanks so much, Kim.